Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. How are you today? Welcome to my channel, Irish Donna Tarot. We're doing a couple's love relationship reading, so let's get started. Scorpio, let's take a look and see what the romance angels have for you. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. <laughs> it's almost the holidays. Okay. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. All right, Scorpio, when I'm looking at this reading, there is a lot of energy here that is very diverse energy, you know, a lot of different kinds of energy. My overall take on this is that you are falling in love with your partner, your partner is falling in love with you, and that you are both terrified. <laughs> so let's dig into the details and see as we work our way through the reading. The Eight of Swords says that one of you at least is holding back while the other one steps forward. Six of Cups energy is a reunion energy. It speaks to the fact that somebody's making a romantic gesture towards uh, the other. So I'm seeing that it's sort of a masculine feminine dynamic here. One person will take the lead <clears throat> in initiation while the other person waits. Both, But this energy is very interesting because both of you are holding back. So that to me, when I see swords and holding back, that comes from old wounds. Now we look at the mutual energy here. And again, we have regret, remorse, things that have gone on in the past. And look at the clarifier here on your outcome card. So I don't think that you even overcome these worries and concerns and all of this intense up in your head remorse regret somebody hurt me he said she said they did this they did that it's continuing through your whole reading so we're going to dig in here but this energy says that both of you need to make a decision you need to this is scorpio energy scorpio you are in the house here you know you definitely need to make a decision you're the one the most empowered to make a decision and what we're seeing here is that both of you are very fearful. Both of you have almost felt like you were mortally wounded in past relationships. And you have this beautiful guardian angel. I mean, you are being divinely protected in making a decision to move forward. And yet, that's not happening. So the way your person sees the situation right now is that they think that they view you very clearly, that your person feels as though you are so wounded from something in the past that you are really bitter. When we see the Queen of Swords upright, she has a good sense of humor. She's really dealing with facts. But this is how your person views the situation, okay? Not just you but your person sees very clearly that there is a lot of pain that the two of you are caught up in. Your person sees very clearly that both of you have bitterness over old relationships, which is still lingering, which is standing in the way. Now, the next step is a tower card, and that is Aries energy. And it says that both of you you know, I have it sort of crossing here because let me show you the energy of how your person feels and how these cards interact, okay? So I'm going to put the tower here because it's not very threatening, <laughs> except that you're fearful. It's your fear that's driving the tower, okay? So I get the Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups energy, water sign energy, along with the Ten of Pentacles. Your person sees you as an ideal mate, somebody with whom they can build a legacy, somebody with whom they can have children or share children, somebody with whom they could have a dog, they could have a good life, the judgment card. You both know the other person is really a, a good match for you. 
You both know that. Ace of Cups says they're falling in love with you, that they think that you're falling in love with them, that you both have the same values, that you share that. It's beautiful. And then look at, they're rushing in. They want to be passionate. The King of Pentacles, by, by golly, the ping, King of Pentacles is the one who really puts together a huge plan to build that Ten of Pentacles. This is great passion. This person wants to make love all night long. This person wants to build a future. And what's so interesting about the Tower card is that you both are falling madly in love and it's you're feeling as though it's a crisis. Both of you feel as though this is a crisis. It feels very threatening. It, feel, it feels as though both of you know that you want a strong foundation. That's the good part. Neither of you wants this to fall apart. You are holding back so hard because you want to build a strong foundation that you're all caught up in your head too much, okay? So all I could say is both of you look and appear to be in this reading very lovely people, both very accomplished, both on the same page, both with similar experiences. Both of you are accustomed to be, being givers. You just are. You're both givers and you've both been burned terribly in your life. The hidden energy is that you're both exhausted. You both have so much to say about how you've been wounded and you're both still healing. So that's why we have this Nine of Swords energy over here. This relationship can't move forward very swiftly at this time. I do believe that December, I believe it's the 14th, is when we have the Sagittarius, this is Sagittarius energy, we have the Sagittarius solar eclipse, and I feel as though that's when the two of you will get out of your heads and not be so worried. But let's take a look and see how your person views the way this will unfold. In their private moments, your person feels as though if you start small and work big, that's the way it will go. Do the work. It's Virgo energy. One day at a time, one step at a time, one small commitment adding up to another small commitment, building upon itself, gaining momentum. And the Hermit card is searching for answers, but this is Virgo energy. Virgo energy is the energy that solves the world's problems. So this is, your person understands fully that you shouldn't make any big moves. Any big moves, anything, you know, you're both like rabbits. Any little rustling in the, in the grass, is going to be taken as a reason to bolt out of the relationship. So your person is going to walk very softly. They're going to be very soft with you. Uh, and they want you, they're hoping that you'll be soft with them. They're a little bit nervous though that you might not be, but they both, you, what they, your person understands is that both of you have told each other truths about your past love lives that you really hope do not come back to haunt you in this relationship. You've shared a lot, and now both of you are wondering if you should have shared. However, I think it was very important that you did. Scorpio, you're psychic, so you're smart. Okay, so the Queen of Swords energy is upright. Spirit is telling you the advice for this reading is don't make any rash moves or decisions right now. Stay the course, stay logical, wait for evidence, don't borrow trouble, okay? <laughs> I'm sternly saying that to both of you because I want to see this work, of course. All right, so the clarification card here is that, again, you're both wounded. This is mutual energy. And what's interesting about this mutual energy is that you are both the lion and you are both the beautiful woman taking the lion's paw, lifting it up and pulling out the thorn that made the lion bleed. You are healers. You are healing each other. Part of the, part of the process of this relationship is to understand that the two of you are very healing. The infinity symbol means that you've probably lived many lifetimes alone. To me, I look at this as a twin flame card. I just don't see with infinity how it can't be soulmate and twin flame. It's also stability. 
the reading ends, quote unquote, for this period of time, with both of you still very much up in your head, here's the good news. The page of pentacles, the page of pentacles. You're taking this a day at a time. It's almost as though both of you are getting onto a roller coaster, but you're not. <laughs> and you're white knuckling it and you're both pretending to be brave and you're both stepping forward into this energy while both of you are just almost having meltdowns at night when you stay awake wondering, is this too good to be true? Can this really be? Can it really happen? But we're seeing trust, you know, it's safe for you to love. You know, express your love, and I feel so you will. Go on a vacation, retreat. You know, you can heal more when you're together on a vacation. And heart-to-heart -heart conversations, and this is, you know, get those swords out of there. You know, open up your heart. So I want to go ahead and clarify a few of these cards for you, Scorpio. Why do we have the Eight of Swords and why do we have the Nine of Swords here? So is this the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Swords? This is a Nine of Swords, the Nine of Swords. Oops. And then the Eight of Swords. Okay. So let's look and see. I really feel as though this is a very clean, very simple, very straightforward reading. Okay. Here's what I'm getting. After I pick up my little, my little card mess here. Okay. So what I'm getting is a hermit card. Both of you have been alone a long time waiting for love. You're both hermiting a little bit. You're still going to have a tendency to do that until you feel like it's safe to come out of hiding. I feel as though the two of you will still interact with that hermit energy, sort of loving from afar, seeing each other intermittently, not too much, not too quickly. This is a slow moving relationship and it's okay. You're still healing. Okay. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Oh, beautiful. You're going to be able to decide to trust each other in the, in the next few weeks. You know, you really are manifesting a beautiful spiritual connection. And you know intuitively that that's the case. But now we see the manifestation. I would say over the next nine weeks, this will not be a concern. Why do we have the Queen of Swords here reversed? Again, oh my gosh, a card of, of singlehood. Virgo energy, Virgo energy. Both of you are very um, well modulated. Both of you are very, uh, very practical. You're both looking for a way to win every day by stepping forward, trusting more, taking it slowly. Why is the tower card here? The tower card is a crisis that you're falling in love. <laughs> to me, the crisis is that you're so afraid that you're not going to have a stable union that the love itself is the crisis. But I, you know, you have to take a chance on love. And both of you know that. All right. I would say that the physical energy is off the charts. I think it's very powerful. I feel as though you are building a strong foundation. I feel as though there's tons of love. There's a lot of emotionality here in this reading. Let's see why is the hermit here again. Let's see what this says. Four of Pentacles, okay, holding back, you know, holding on to your heart. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Both of you are just being very self-protective. Why is the Four of Swords still as, here as you recover? Why do we have the Knight of Swords and Four of Swords as your hidden energy? The Two of Wands. Well, you are both hurting still, and you don't want to be hurt again in the future. And so you're at a crossroads, and you know that it's going to become time in the near future, within two months, to actually step forward into the future and make a choice to date exclusively or to invest in the relationship. Again, more day-to-day -day life activity. Why is Spirit advising you not to make any abrupt changes and to stay logical? Why is Spirit advising you that you should do that? Otherwise, you will defeat yourselves in love. If you don't stay logical, if you don't 
um, just take a break from all of this harsh thinking, you will go off the spiritual path and fail one another as well as yourself. Okay, so the energy here is this beautiful strength card, Leo energy. Why is it here for you? To me, this is the infinity symbol. So why is it here? It looks like you're both healers and you can heal each other. Seven of Cups. You. So I get this energy. It's something that you think you know, but you're worried that you might be wrong about. The Seven of Cups says you both fantasize about each other. <laughs> You are staying logical, though. Look at the King and Queen of Swords has appeared, banishing this, you know, overwrought sort of negative energy of worrying about the worst. Fantastic. Good job, Scorpio and lover. Why is the Nine of uh, Swords here for the outcome for now? <laughs> Soulmates, you're both worried that you're soulmates because you know that soulmates are here to teach us a lesson. But look at your, you're divinely protected by your guardian angel. So Scorpio, sending you love from Chicago. Since I'm back, tell me where you're from. Happy holidays. Bye-bye.